anybody listening? A brand new day has begun. The first thing that I want to do, make sure that you feel it too. So I'm not the only one. Coca-Cola is the most recognized and valuable brand in the world, refreshing and touching consumers in more than 190 countries. It was back in America on May 8, 1886, when a pharmacist named Dr. John Pemberton produced a syrup for Coca-Cola. He then carried the jug of the new product to Jacob's Pharmacy in downtown Atlanta. The syrup was mixed with carbonated water and sold for five cents a glass. The refreshing drink was a success. An average of nine drinks were sold per day. Now, 125 years later, Coca-Cola is available around the world, selling more than 1.7 billion a day, making Coca-Cola the world's largest beverage company. But more than a soft drink, Coca-Cola has become one of the leading global partners in the social and economic development of Africa and Ethiopia. 53 years ago, Coca-Cola made its historic mark on Ethiopia. Ethiopia was one of the first African countries for their Coca-Cola company to do business in. Coca-Cola is a good thing. 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 Uh, We've been in this country for around 20, 20 years uh, in the format that we are now, but in total around 56 years. And we really have seen Ethiopia progress. We see the amazing potential, we see the amazing economic growth, anywhere between 8 to 10 percent. Um, and it's certainly forecast to continue growing for the next couple of years. If you take into consideration the population heading towards 100 million people, I think that uh, if any company is serious about business uh, in the world, they need to seriously consider investing in Ethiopia. If we look at the countries that we operate in, Ethiopia has been seen as a country with enormous potential. If you look at, at Africa, you, you will see that all the major companies in the world are looking at Africa as the next growth vector for their, for their companies. And within Africa, as we mentioned, Ethiopia is probably the top, out of the top two. In today's global market, we hear more and more big companies promoting social and corporate responsibilities. But is it another form of marketing or is it strong commitment? Some companies pay lip service to corporate social responsibility, but not Coca-Cola. And I'll, I'll tell you why. I mean, if you look at Coke, we don't make a lot of money on a bottle of Coke. So we have to sell a lot of products to, to you know, generate revenue streams. Uh, we're also in countries for the long term, not for the short term. And because so, we are so entrenched and so reliant on the communities that support us that we really, really believe in giving back to those communities. We've put in 
several millions of dollars to support uh, medical, medical supplies and medical research in this country. Uh, we've donated around $1.4 million to the drought, to the drought relief, uh, you know, just trying to ease those people's lives that are, that are affected. Committed to creating impactful benefits to society, Coca-Cola donated essential medicines to Ethiopia. A great portion of the medicines were for diseases such as cancer and diabetes. We believe as a company that our success depends primarily on the prosperity of the community that we work in. If the community is not prosperous, we will not be successful. So for us, a commitment to creating an impactful social impact is very important to us. Today we're able to celebrate the handover of over 30 million beer of medicine to the Ethiopian um, community. Part of our, grass, our grassroots program is a program that actually started off in Mexico called Copa Coca-Cola. Now effectively what that is, it is us supporting school, school children, um, putting a soccer tour tournament together that is aimed at, at school children. It's aimed at developing uh, raw talent and building it up into, into what it could be. And we've had some major successes with some of our Copa Coca-Cola soccer stars actually going on to play Premiership League soccer. Um, fantastic. I think this last year we had around 100 schools participating in our tournaments. Uh, it was a knockout tournament and it certainly raised a lot of excitement. We believe running is a good way for everyone to get healthy. So part of our Live for a Difference Get Healthy campaign, uh, we have, have launched a, a running series last year. Um, absolutely fantastic. We introduced some new technology, championship timing, so everyone who ran could get their, their time. And the whole aim of this running series is, is can you actually better your time at the next race? Coca-Cola series is just uh, uh, organized, you know, these three, uh, three races every month. And then um, one of you know, our targets, you know, just to prepare, you know, for the main uh, Great Ethiopia and the one uh, from I mean, for November. And at the same time, you know, we are trying to having, you know, more youngsters, you know, just to to produce more youngsters for uh, Ethiopia. And uh, besides that, you know, just as you know, it's a part of celebration. It's a part of, you know, just the, where, what people are enjoying. Imagine you know, what's going on today, you know, just it's uh, nice and colorful and uh, wonderful. The Olympics, um, for us, it's a, it's a major, major uh, focus point for us, 2012, as you know, London 2012, and because Ethiopia will be sending some of the, the world's best athletes across to, to London to participate and I'm sure bring back gold. We would certainly be involved with that to, to some extent and the thinking around that is that we will be putting up a competition to actually send some Ethiopians across to support our national team. In Africa specific, one of the challenges we face in many countries is building capability. Um, we certainly as a company are not sitting back and, and we believe that we need to be in the forefront. We don't believe in, in uh, moving into a country and uh, just seeing what profits we can generate from it. That's not our business model. Our model is, you know, let's touch the lives of everyone who we come into contact with.
ማደግም ይችላልና በጣም ከፍተኛ ዲማንድ ያለው ነው ኮካኮላ ደግሞ ያው እንደሚታወቀው ሀገራችን ብዙ ሰው ፈላጊ ያለው ምርቱ ደግሞ የበለጠ እንደም ፋብሪካው አድጎልን እኛም ሰራተኞቹ በድርጅቱ እምንጠቀም እምንኖንበት መንገድ ይመቻቻል ብዬ በለጠ ተስፋ አደርጋለሁ እንደውም እና በጣም ደስተኛ ነኝ ኮካኮላ በመስራት ከዚህ በፊት እኔ ስራ እንት ነበር ዲማይኒንግ ፈንጃም ካይ ነበርኩኝ ከቤተሰብ ጋር በአመት ነው መገናኘው የስራው ጸባይ እንደዚሁ ሃርድሺፕ ያለው ነው አሁን ግን አንደኛ ከቤተሰብ ጋር በቅርብ ቦታ ነው ያለው ሁለተኛ የሚከፈለኝን በአንጻራዊነት ከዛ ከድሮ መስራ ቤቱ በጣም የተሻለ ነው አንዳንድ አንሱ አንሱና የበለሽ ተደ ሶፍት ልስጣቹ እሱ ይከብዳል ወአ አኔ አንድ መጀመሪያ አይደለና መሱ አትድገም እስቲ አሁን አሁን ምዶ አብራቹ አ እስቲ በደም ባሶር ውራት ወንበስ ብለሽ በደም ለማጣል እነዛን ባካ እ ከደረሰ ራሱ አሪፍ ነው in many countries many country many companies will distribute directly on their own or they'll distribute through a single third party what we've done is opened up mdcs which stand for manual distribution centers and effectively what we've done is we have created many business owners uh, we currently touch around 15000 people through the mdc program and what we do is we supply our product to the mdcs those mdcs have a dedicated and designed route of where they need to deliver product into the into our markets to our customers uh, and they do that on a daily basis so effectively what we've done we currently are sitting in this country with around 650 mdcs so effectively we've set up 650 call it micro businesses sarah hailu is one of the many female mdcs whose life has changed but before becoming a distributor her life was filled with many challenges ከገጠር አክስቴ ወሰደች የ6 አመት ተኩል ይያለው ማለት ነው ከዛ ግን አላስተማረችኝ 
ኢቤ ስራ ነበር ስታሰረኝ የነበረው መሰረተ ትምርት ዝምብዬ ከሰፈር ሴቶች ጋራ ተማርኩኝ ሳይው የሆቴ ምንም ሊቀየር አልቻለም ለምን ቤት ውስጥ እንዳገለግላት እንድሰራላት ምናም ነው እንጂ እንደዚህ ነገራት ፈልግን አላት ሀብታምናት ግን ሆቴል አላት ምን ወደ 5000 ካሬ ሜትር ነው ቤቱ ቦታው ራሱና እኔን መርዳታት ፈልግም መታወቂያ አረባ ገር ሊሄድ ስለ ማለት ነው መታወቂያ አስጠይቃት ራሱ መታወቂያ ከቀበለ ይችላል በሰው በሰው ነው እዚህ አዲስ አበባ ወጥቶ looking for a better life and income she decided to go to the middle east to work as domestic help even to speak about her past today still brings tears to her eyes በ13 አመት ነው ነረባ ሀገር ይርኩት እና ከዛ ሰራው ይሄንን ሰላማት ታላይ ምንም የለኝም ብዬ ስለማስብ ያንን ሰራውኝ በጣም ብዙ ጥሩ ሰዎች አጋጠመኝ እነሱም በቃ እንድሰራ ይፈቅዱልኛል እንድሰራ ከዛ ሰርቼ ወደ ሀገሬ በቃ አላቅም ምልህ ለኔ የሚሆን ነገር አላቅም እየሰራውት ለነሱ ነው አብረን በቃ እነሱ ቤተሰቦቼ ናቸው በቃ ኔ በጣም ነው ወዳቸው በየወሩ የመጣውትን እየሰራትን ልካለሁ ስለዚህ እነሱ ይሄን አረግልሻለን ይሄን አረግልሻለን ይሄን አረግልሻለን ቤት ሰራን እሺ ይሄን አረግልሽ ይያሉ እዮሽት እንትሪ ልኩልኛል ኢሜል ያርጉልኛል ካርታው ምኑ ምኑ In returning back to Ethiopia she was faced with more disappointments ስመጣ አንድ ነገር ይለ ምንም ነገር ሰባት ወር አልገለይ ተኝቺ በቃ ጸሎት በቃ ማልቀስ ሰው ራሱ አልወድም ነበር ሶቹ ጥሩ ጫማ ጥሩ ልብስ ይገዙልኛል ከዛ እዚህ ስመጣ ምንም ጫማ ይሁን ልብስ ይሁን አለቀ ሁሉ ነገር ያለቀ ጫማይ ራሱ ተሰንጥቆ ውስጡ ሶሎ አባራ ጭቃ ያስገባ ነበር ይሄ ቀለበት መንገድ ሲሰራ ራሱ በየተሸከምኩኝ ከዛ አልሰራም በየ ነበር ይሄን ስራ ትንሽ ወርቅ ነበርሽኝ አሰሪዎቼም 20 ብር ከዛ ላኩል ይሰነግራቸው ከዛ ተነሳው ይሄን መስራት በጭንቅላት እየተሸከምኩ ነው ራሱ ይሄን ስራ አሰረ ይነበረው በጣም ውስጥ እየደስተኛ ነው በመስራቴ ሰርቼ በማግኘቴ በጣም ደስተኛ ነኝ እኔ ስራ ወዳለሁ በጣም በፍቅር ነኝ ምድሴንም ወደው ለምን ስለለወጠኝ ከመሬት ስላነሳኝ በቀ ኮድኩበት ስላነሳኝ በጣም ወደዋለሁ Ethiopia is such a distinct country we're not your run of the mill african country there is the rest of africa and then there's Ethiopia. It's distinct. Uh, Ethiopians, we see ourselves as a very unique people. Uh, you know, I'm sure that every African country sees itself that way, but we are genuinely unique. We're genuine, we even look different from the rest of Africans. You know, we're not your average African. Our food is different, our dress is different, um you know our uh, you know we're 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 extremely religious people our crime rate is almost zero corruption almost doesn't exist in this country in comparison to other african countries so there's very there are many um distinct traits that make ethiopia uh ethiopia and i think for the greatest brand in ethiopia to have its own logo it kind of makes sense in its own um you know adapted amharic logo it makes sense we can't just have an average coca cola in english we need to have something in amharic to speak to the people in ethiopia we have you know injera with ethiopian food do you know what the number one thing that goes well with ethiopian food is coke it helps you digest it it's uh it's uh it it complements ethiopian food it allows you to burp after the meal so it helps you digest the meal and everyone wants their coke with ethiopian food so that kind of makes it kind of a national dish ethiopian food and coca cola go hand in hand which makes coke national it makes coke local everyone loves coke our consumers everyone loves coke loves coke uh coke is not expensive it's cheap so uh in terms of socio economic levels you have them from the the poorest of the poor to the wealthiest of the wealthy any major wedding you go to they have them all lined up coke fanta sprite is all lined up for people to enjoy because they're about to have what ethiopian food <laughs> so it all links up together so our 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 uh, consumers are uh, are the youth who love 
life, love happiness, love to live, have hope, have aspirations, have dreams, passions. These are our young youth. And then our older people, they just can't have their, their day, their lives, their meal without, without a Coke. So Coke is key to our consumers. Through the successes we have had, I think other countries, other companies are starting to realize that the way to be successful is not to come in and just try and make a profit, but is actually to come in and immerse yourself in the country and, and help that country grow and develop. And through that growth and development, obviously your company will prosper too.